Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CG Social Weekly News, week number 11. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Gabini here. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another CG Social Weekly News. Like I said, this is week number 11. Sorry for that weird intro, though. Just trying to have a good time. But I'm feeling much better compared to last week, so I'm very happy to just be 100%, or at least 100%. But let's go straight into the news, shall we? First news story is about AJ Styles retaining WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Fastlane, defeating John Cena, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn in a six-pack challenge. He retained, so he will officially face Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania 34 for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It's known as the Dream Match. I hope I'll be able to watch the pay-per-view. I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be phenomenal, like AJ Styles would say. AJ Styles, man. Just congrats to his victory. And also, Santos Laguna managed to, Santos Laguna managed to defeat Monterrey 3-2 on Sunday. It was it was it must have been an intense game. I didn't watch the match, fortunately, but we must have played really well. Especially for me, Monterrey would be like a mini classico in the Liga MX. And as you guys can see, I'm wearing the Santos Laguna jersey. Bought this this week as well. I honestly love it. It's, it's a good color, black and green. For me, it's a good color for for the for the club, which I enjoyed it. But yeah, congrats to Santos Laguna. Still in first place. It's almost like if we're at, no one can touch us almost. Next news story, it's about John Cena calling out The Undertaker this past Monday Night Raw. On Monday, Monday this past Monday Night Raw, he called out The Undertaker. The rumors are true. So far, it looks like John Cena has called out The Undertaker, like I said. You're gonna, it's going to be a dream match as well. I think it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime match, possibly for one more match. That's what John Cena has asked. Just The Undertaker, just one more match if you can. We still haven't, don't have a response for The Undertaker, but we're going to have to wait and see. I think Monday Night Raw tomorrow, since today is Sunday that I'm recording this, I believe tomorrow, on Monday, it's going to be in Dallas. So, one well, we can go, but oh well, I'll have to watch the highlights. But let's see, hopefully we'll see what happens tomorrow on Monday Night Raw. Next new story, we can confirm the next two teams that are also qualified for the UEFA Champions League. Sevilla qualifies and Roma qualifies due to the goal in the first game since they scored on the visitor game. So congrats to Sevilla and Roma for qualifying. Fortunately, sorry for Manchester United and that Shakhtar Donetsk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Fortunately, they're eliminated. Next new story, also two more teams that are also qualified into the UEFA Champions League. FC Barcelona and FC Bayern. Barcelona definitely destroyed Chelsea. I was very upset with the result, obviously, since I'm not a Barca fan. You guys know that already. But Chelsea did not play as I thought they were going to play. Or we all expected a good clash, but no. Barca played the whole game as they should. And so Bayern, I mean, it's against Besiktas. With all the respect of Besiktas, they're not a good team in the Champions League. But at least they made it this far, so we'll give them credit for that. But, damn. Next new story is about Lionel Messi already passing 600-plus goals in his career. So he's now eighth player to score over 600-plus goals or at least the eighth player to score most goals in his career. Number one being Pele, two being Bican, three being Romario, four being Puskas, five being Gerd Muller, six Cristiano Ronaldo, seven Eusebio, and now Messi on that list as well as the top eight most scored players, players that scored the most goals in their career. Yeah, so Ronaldo just 39 goals above Messi, 641 goals Cristiano Ronaldo has, so hoping Ronaldo will make that before he retires. So we'll have to wait and see, and also match results from the UEFA Europa League. 
Lokomotiv Moscow 1, Atletico Madrid 5, 8, 1 in aggregate for Atletico Madrid, Congrats to Atletico, Pizan 2, Sporting CP 1, Sporting CP advances 3 2 aggregate, Athletic Bilbao 1, Martial 2, Martial qualifies with the 5 2 aggregate, Zenit 1, Red Bulls Zeblik 1, 3 2 in aggregate in favor of Red Bulls, Dynamo Kiev 0, Lazio 2, Lazio advances 4 2 aggregate, Arsenal 3, Milan 1, 5 1 aggregate in favor of Arsenal. Sorry, Milan. Then Zalberg, 0. Dorman, 0. And I believe Zalberg advanced. Uh, I, don't, I don't know much of the results because I can't really see it on the screen. But I believe Zalberg does advance because I know Dorman is not in the next round. Sorry, Dorman. They're both Milan and Dorman are my favorite teams from, from their leagues. Extra news right here. Also that... People talked about it about on Twitter, and apparently Drake and Ninja collabed in a Twitch stream playing Fortnite. Fortnite's definitely been balling and taking over, taking over the internet, taking over the streams, Twitch, and everything. Just taking over YouTube. Fortnite definitely will be a 2018 thing for YouTube Rewind. That's just an FYI. It's just going to be in the future. When I see this video, I'm going to be like, Fortnite, 2018. Next new story. This I also I'll, I'm gonna add another one after this. So yeah, Santos Laguna managed to beat Puebla win a minimum 1-0. Congrats to Puebla, Puebla. Congrats to Santos Laguna once again managed to pull through, winning another game. Still at the top of the league. So far we've done so much, and we're taking over. We're only five games away till the end of the season to go to the playoffs and see who wins La Liga. And then we also got Logan Paul and KSI officially signing their contracts to make it official that KSI and Logan Paul will be fighting. They will be fighting August 25th. That's going to be a great match between Logan Paul and KSI. Room for KSI all the way. Very YouTuber KSI. We'll, we'll have to wait and see, and even if Logan Paul wins, I still have respect for KSI and Logan Paul, either way, but I'm rooting for KSI. But I should have posted this also, but it was about the Champions League match results, or who is versus who. So we got, I'm trying to remember the top of my head, Roma versus Barcelona, Liverpool versus Man City, Juventus versus Real Madrid, and... Bayern versus Sevilla. So those are the four matches for the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals, if you guys are wondering, which that should have honestly been in the news right there too. Final news story here is about Dragon Ball Super episode 130. This is the second last episode, and this was a great episode. I enjoyed it a lot, especially with seeing Goku fighting in ultra instinct form just seeing how we fought was unimaginable and then how we saw Jiren powered up just all muscular and all buff just jacked dude I was worried for a sec because Jiren looked like he was gonna beat Goku but then I think after Jiren triggered Goku because he literally almost tried killing his friends killing universe 7 in the process Goku you know, deflected the attack and got really angry at Jiren and just powered up and just defending his his loved ones, his universe, his loved ones, you know, everyone that he cared about. This is for them. He's like, this is for all my supporters. This is for all my people that, that care for me and believe in me and eventually beat Jiren. He didn't eliminate him. He beat him. He was about to beat him, I think, because either he was going to spare him and give him some energy or he was actually gonna, you know, eliminate him. But then something happened to Goku because I think when Whis was telling everyone, they were, he was like, I think he's he's broke his limit with the Ultra Instinct. His his body can't withstand the Ultra Instinct any longer. So then, I think Universe Eleven's God of Destruction told Jiren to try to eliminate Goku now, eliminate him, and then he kind of had second thoughts. It's like. 
but I'm like, I don't want to beat him. I want to beat him fairly, not like this. He's like, I will remember you. I will remember you in my memories. He's like, farewell. He tries to shoot him. He does shoot him or, you know, hits him with a key blast. But then there was a, a force that pushed him off or deflected Goku and landed him on, you know, on a land, on a piece of land or whatever. And then from the, out of nowhere, we see Frieza actually save them, which I remembered. I even mentioned it, like, where's Frieza? I knew about Frieza. Frieza saved Goku again. And then out of nowhere, Android 17 is still alive. He survived the explosion from a couple episodes ago. People were, I bet people were very surprised that Android 17 survived the attack. I honestly thought he blew up, like he said. But no, so now there's three versus one. So, I mean, Jiren must be tired, probably, for all I know. He's probably tired from fighting Goku, so I don't know how much energy he has left. But in the next episode, we see Seventeen and Frieza fighting Jiren in this form. But I don't think, I'm surprised Goku's even standing and trying to fight back without Ultra Instinct. But maybe he's controlled it, I don't know. But I don't think, from the title of the episode, for the final episode of Dragon Ball Super, it looks like Universe 7 loses somehow. And I don't want to believe that, but I'm scared to find out. I really am, just as much as I was scared to watch this episode. <sighs> I was just mind blown, just the fact that, that that fight was phenomenal. Like the AJ Styles, just like AJ Styles itself. Phenomenal. It's gonna wrap it up for my CG Social Weekly News. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy the video or the news, please give this a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. Like and subscribe guys, it's absolutely free. Be notified when I post things on YouTube. Hit the bell icon so you guys can be aware when I be uploading. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, but besides my social media as well, but on Instagram, if you guys want to follow me there, I post every single day so you guys can be fully aware of whatever news I'll post for next week's video, next week's episode, either way. But like I said guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys did enjoy. And that's about it guys. So yeah guys, Chris and I out. See you real soon. See you guys in the next video. And peace.